Okay, uh, let's continue with another definition. Uh, logical equivalence. Logical equivalence. Okay, uh, remember, uh, as short your answer is, it will be better. So we can uh, answer this like A and B are logical equal if a B is the logical consequence of A and A is the logical consequence of B. That is the answer. Do not answer more. Uh, do not answer more about uh, of this short answer. That will be um, a good definition answer. So how can we uh, explain this? Uh, we can make one proof one true table with this exercise that could be in the test proof that negation P implies Q is logical equivalent that P a conjunction negation Q remember we, you can um, do your true table P and Q and let's um, Let's answer this with this zero one zero one and here it will be zero zero one one. Uh, the formulas it will be negation P implies Q and the another formula will be uh, P a uh, conjunction negation Q. So let's answer it. The opposite of the negation Q it will be one zero one zero and p will be zero zero one one the um, conjunction it will be just in this case which is one uh, otherwise it will be zero that is the final answer of the first uh, formula and here p in place q we have just this case and otherwise it will be one the negation of this it will be a zero zero one uh, zero so here we have the answer if you check it out they are logical equivalent so that is the answer is very important to denote this logical equivalent this a uh, final two answers so uh, we prove once again we prove that and this is our logical equivalent <clears throat> so uh, let's um, check it out this uh, according with this we can answer another question what is a uh, conjunction normal form definition and disjunction normal a form the short answer will be like this elementary elementary disjunction is is a conjunction normal form And that's it. Do not answer more of this. And this junction normal form is the opposite. Elementary conjunction is a disjunction normal form. Okay, how can we explain this? We can uh, take the account of this. Can you prove it? This an example of the disjunction normal form. Yes, is when in this part we have true, we have a model 
So we can create a disjunction normal form with the elementary truth tables, the singletons, which is P and Q. And in this row, we have the answer of the disjunction normal form when it's true, remember, when we have ones or true. So we have P, which is true here. We have P and <clears throat> the disjunction is the elementary conjunction. So we have conjunction, one elementary conjunction. And remember, Q is false. So we are going to negate Q and that's it. This is the correct answer of the disjunction normal form. What about the conjunction normal form? Elementary disjunction is a conjunction normal form. So we have a false relation here in the row interpretation. That means we can start with negation negation p and remember disjunction disjunction and we have a q negation negation q this is one elementary disjunction we can start with another um negation p negation p this elementary disjunction and then yes the Q and we can start with another one is a uh, P and Q and the elementary disjunction and we can is a this uh, a conjunction normal form so we have this elementary disjunction and this elementary disjunction and so we have one two and three part so we have a uh, on this formula the conjunction normal form formula and the i'm sorry the disjunction and the conjunction normal form and this is the correct answers